You're watching the Fox 31 Denver Pinpoint Weather Special. We all know how quickly Colorado's weather can change from sunny to snowy in just hours. And while most forecasters simply rely on the tools in front of them, our Pinpoint Weather team has one tool exclusive to us. It's called Weatherbug. Shauna Mendiola shows us how local schools and businesses are helping give you the most accurate weather in your neighborhood. Regis Jesuit High School on our Weatherbug Network is reporting 24 with mostly cloudy skies. You've probably seen us using it in our weathercasts, and it's what sets us apart. The only weather uh, TV station in Denver that's going to be able to use the Weatherbug data. No longer are you going to have to use the data from the airports. Our data is in the schools that your kids go to school at, the businesses that your uh, audience shops at. So when you say the power of Weatherbug, it's a real-time network in the neighborhoods and cities that your viewers live in. In high school, our weather bug sensor, same thing. From Trailblazer Elementary in Highlands Ranch to South Lakewood Elementary School in Lakewood, we have access to real-time data at over three dozen weather stations located across the Denver metro area and close to 80 across the state. And this is how it works. Each site is set up with its own sensor, like here at Sec Elementary. Theirs is right up on the roof, and it records live up-to-date temperatures and winds. Then that information is sent to displays like this one right inside the building, where anyone can see that information right on the screen. And back here at the Fox 31 Channel 2 News Studios, we have our very own display that takes all that weather bug data and puts it in our system so we can give you the most accurate and up-to-date information as we get it in our newscasts. What are the yellow things? The, the, little, the little stuff you see in there is radar. Metro area schools are using this information in the classroom. Well, that low means that they, they're probably going to get rain. Fifth grade teacher Paige Dersham makes the weather bug network an interactive part of her curriculum. I think bringing it, making it real, makes it more interesting. Last year I had the group decided that it was going to be a snow day before it was even called by the district. I know that it's cold and I can like call my mom and have her come pick me up or if it's warm I know I can walk home. So it's very helpful. Dersham says her young forecasters use the data every day to plan their day. The wind changed every Oh, look at our precipitation. I can't say that right. Sorry. Precipitation. Yeah, we barely got anything. She hopes that even this simple application to real life sparks an active interest in meteorology and will lead to careers in science. Who wants to be a weather person when they grow up? The Weatherbug Network goes even farther than just reporting temperatures, winds, and precipitation at schools. This year, the Cherry Creek School District is using a brand new lightning detection system to keep their student athletes safe during spring sports. It was a scary moment two years ago that made Cherry Creek Athletic Director Larry Bull take action. We were having a game, uh, Cherokee Trail versus Fruit of Monuments, out at Legacy Stadium. And it came that there was a storm approaching approximately 10 miles away. And as soon as he said that, within a matter of 15 seconds or so, it was right on top of us. Athletic directors on the field had handheld lightning detectors, but... They gave no warning of how soon lightning would strike. It was a full house, and it was just an uncomfortable feeling um, with the fans and the, the players um, with the lightning right on top of us. Statistics show lightning kills an average of 54 people and injures hundreds every year, with student athletes among the risk. In Colorado, there's a lot of times when like, it can be sunny, and then like five minutes later, a storm rolls in, and all of a sudden it's lightning. And it's nice when you can know ahead of time that those storms are coming, you can get to safety. Now, stadiums at Cherry Creek High School and Cherokee Trail High are the only two schools in the Denver metro area with new weather bug outdoor alerting systems. They're part of the largest network with over 700 sensors worldwide, working together to pinpoint the accuracy of light the area. Whether it's lightning in the clouds or lightning hitting the ground, a siren sounds off whenever lightning is within a 10-mile radius. Nobody misses it because it's so loud. Oh, well, you know, you're in the middle of a soccer game and you see the clouds coming in. You're up high on the field. You can see to the west. You see the storm moving in and it's kind of scary and you're wondering and then you hear the siren and you know exactly what to do. Each time a siren goes off, personnel are notified through email or text. And the siren is so loud that it not only benefits the students and the parents in the stands, but also the businesses and the residents in the area. It's something that I've never really thought of, but to know that there is something that I would physically hear. There's an all-clear signal and one that sounds off when it's okay to return outside. It's quite an investment, but one that Larry Bull says gives him accurate warnings and a peace of mind. I think when you talk safety, um, it, it is a definitely a worthwhile case. And, and there's more of a comfort from an athletic trainer standpoint, from a district 
um, standpoint, coaches, players. Um, I think it's one of those that it's a real safety piece. Shauna Mandiola, Fox 31, Denver.